Why are we here? To learn how to make a viral YouTube video really easy based on my experience doing exactly that. I'll show you in this video totally free, no strings attached, how to make an easy viral video on YouTube based on my experience doing that myself. I say based on my experience because there's so many tutorials online, you can't see proof the person showing you how to do it has ever actually done it for themselves. So here's my channel. You can see youtube.com slash C slash Jerry Banfield. You can see here six viral videos right on the front of my channel. And the biggest success is this recent video, only two weeks old. You can see 100,000 views, 120 likes, only five dislikes, lots of comments on this video. And it's only about two weeks old, published on May 27, 2015. So the point of all this is I make my own viral YouTube videos. So I'm showing you what I already know how to do. In fact, I make videos full time online. That's what I do. That's my full time job. You could say if you go to Udemy, you can see this is where I publish my courses. I've got 27 courses. I make courses full time online. All I have to do is make videos. It's awesome. That's why I'm showing you this because I want you to have the exact same opportunity. So what I will do here now is go over several different methods you can use to easily make viral videos on YouTube the exact way I've done and by taking into account what other people are able to do successfully in their videos so that you can make videos several different ways based on whatever you want to work for you. The first method I used to make a viral YouTube video was a Google Plus Hangout on Air. If you have your Google Plus account, you go to plus.google.com slash hangout slash on air and create a hangout on air. The beauty of this is you don't need any third party software to do it. It has built in screen capture and you can literally just capture your desktop. It's stupid simple to use, which is why I was able to actually use it. I hit create a hangout on air and then all you have to do is give it a name, tell people what it's about and schedule it. It's ridiculously simple. You can use your webcam or screen capture. It's awesome to get started with. And how good can this be? My first truly viral video on YouTube I made, that is one I didn't buy made from Fiverr, is right here, 01 CPM. Facebook ads tutorial, 132,000 views. And this was made a little less than two years ago. I'll take a look at the analytics with you on it. So in the last 28 days, it's still got a thousand views, even though the audio was bad, even though the information's a bit outdated, people are still watching it and those are all for free. And so you can see the total here, 132,000 views, 1.4 million minutes watched, tons of organic engagement on it over time and people adding it to playlists and I don't run ads on my videos. You can see the main audience, USA, Canada, UK, along with Romania and India. And you can see I got a lot of the views originally on it with YouTube ads. But what happened once I got the views on it with YouTube ads, then I've got all these free views on it. And here's the thing, the free views are gold. When someone's searching for this and finds it, I got clients out of this video, I got sales on my Facebook ads courses out of this video. Those organic views on niche subjects like this are gold and there's not a lot of competition in it. So you can see how easy it was if I take out YouTube advertising, you can see the organic traffic here and I had the highest organic traffic while I was running the most YouTube ads, but I'm still getting organic traffic now, almost two years later. So right here, simple formula you can use to get all of these viral views here. Suggested video, YouTube search, all of these down here, free views, extremely valuable. All you have to do is create a Google Plus Hangout on air. Now you have to have your Google Plus account set up beforehand. 
you have to have your YouTube account in good standing so you can't have any copyright strikes if you go over here to community and you look at your video manager and here actually it's easier copyright notices you can see a few copyright notices but those are all automatic you can't have any copyright strikes on your account I have a video showing how to deal with copyright strikes if that's an issue so those are the prerequisites now the second part of this you're going to ask is how did you know what subject to create this on how did you know to make it on Facebook ads well you've got to make videos based on what you are doing and what you know how to do I knew how to do Facebook ads if you take a look at my Facebook page you can see I built my Facebook page up it's got millions of likes on it one million likes you can see and if I show you my like count here I can scroll in more I have 1.034 million Facebook page likes and so I didn't have that many a couple years ago but I had enough to know that when people were searching for things like Facebook ads they weren't finding very good videos and so that's why I started making videos in Facebook ads you can see there's tons of all these videos that are watched are mine tons of Facebook ads videos I have up and that's how I knew to make them there because that's what I was doing so whatever you're doing is what you can make a video on it sounds simple but I have a Udemy course in YouTube and people ask well, what should I make videos on I don't know what I want to make videos on you've got to make videos on whatever you're already doing and what you want to do so Google Plus Hangouts the easiest way to do that you just make a video on whatever you want to talk about and put it up there and you try and match it with what people might be looking for so that gets challenging but don't get lost in doing that just you can forget about that for right now the most important thing is to actually get the video uploaded just put the video up there then you can get more data most people who agonize too much beforehand over what the video should be over never actually get a video up there and made so Google Hangouts on there easiest simple way to get a video up on YouTube and if you make it honest just talking straight from the heart about something you know about and you're passionate about you can count on consistent good results from that if you don't talk about something you like and you don't have passion for it it's not likely to be viral so all you have to do use Google Hangouts on air just make an honest video talking about something you care about and put it up there then you can always go from there and do additional things so that's the easiest one to get started with I will start showing you some additional things you can use that I've used more recently to make my viral videos what did I do to make my second viral video on YouTube now this starts to get a little more challenging but once you've got some courage from using the utter simplicity of Google Hangouts on air then you can give this a try so I'll find the video I'm on my YouTube channel I've got 400 and some videos so even I have to search for my videos here it's called complete Facebook ads tutorial I search for it and you can see it comes up right here now I actually made this using the YouTube editor and I took the video I just showed you and stuck it in at the end of this one so what you see I made a newer version of the same tutorial on Google Plus Hangouts on air you can see the Google Plus Hangouts logo throughout this video as proof that I used the Google Plus in order to make this entire video so that's exactly what I did I used Google Plus Hangouts on air just like I showed you but what I did I used the YouTube editor so I'll show you how to find that so if you go back to your channel you, the easiest way to find it is you just go up to your channel icon and click on that and go to Creator Studio and once you've hit over to Creator Studio then you go to create down here and then you go to video editor and so the video editor is right here and you can see I put some old video together here real quick now what it's easy to do you can just search your own videos 
and then you can stick your videos into here and make a new video out of your existing videos. So for example, if I wanted to drag two of my inspirational videos together, I drag that one in there, I click on here, and then I drag, say, this one in here, and now I have two videos that I can put into one video seamlessly within YouTube. Now the youtube.com slash editor is very powerful. There's tons of things you can do to make viral videos. You can literally just do this probably full time. If you wanted to just make videos online, you could probably do the YouTube video editor full time. If you find some other YouTube course, this is likely to be called a quote secret. It's not exactly a secret since it's an integral part of the Creator Studio. And here you go, I've showed it to you right now, totally for free. So here it is. You just sit here and put videos together and then you can put things like text in, you can put audio in, you can do all kinds of cool things. Now you have to actually edit the audio here in order to upload your own audio, it can get a little bit more challenging. You can't just upload, you have to use YouTube, but what you can do is make the video and download it and then upload, re-render it with your own audio. Anyway, there are a lot of powerful features here you can use, and if anything else, you can just stick two videos together. So that's exactly what I did with that video I showed you. I stuck two videos together and made that into a viral video because I wanted a video that was longer. You'll notice this one has a much better introduction than the one before it. And I just stuck another video on at the end to make it longer and to have more detailed information and to try a new title. So it has a lot in common with the last viral video I showed you. And it takes everything I learned from that first viral video about what keywords work, about what works to get clicks, and it takes all of that and puts it into a new video that's longer. And you can see this one has 70,000 views. And if I go into my videos, you'll notice this one, if I go to Creator Studio and switch over, this one actually is getting more minutes watched still than that last video. So I can go compare and show these two to you in here. I can put complete Facebook advertising tutorial. I can put that in right here and it comes up. I can then put a comparison in here and I can compare this to the 01 CPM one that I put up. And I can show you this video using the YouTube editor is getting two and a half times as many free views still because it's longer and because it's newer. But what I did, I learned so much about what works on keywords, I learned more. You'll notice I made this several months later. And even though it has half the number of views, it's getting more views right now. So every step you take in your YouTube videos, you keep learning. You learn more about what works and you can try different things. So the YouTube editor, you can literally just take some of the old videos you've made, maybe make a better intro, maybe combine them with some other video and then put it into a new video. You don't even need to use anyone else's videos. You can just use your own videos, try combining them different ways and then do things like mix up the keywords, give it a different title, try a different screenshot or thumbnail for the cover. And then you can see this one's gotten a lot more positive attention recently, twice as many comments, many more subscribers, many more ads to playlists, more likes, lots more views, lots more minutes watched. And it literally contains this entire video. So that's one way that I've made a viral video with the YouTube editor. What I'm going to show you next is how you can make a viral video with the YouTube editor without even filming your own videos. And I have not actually done this before, but I will show you how you can do it and show you how it's working for other people. And so this will just be real quick since I've not done this before. The third way to make a viral video, and this is what I've seen a lot of people do well, and I've not done myself because I'm too busy making my own videos for better or worse, is to use the YouTube editor. I just showed you youtube.com editor. 
you use the YouTube editor and you click, well, you start in this tab. So this is where my videos are. You click over into this tab. These are Creative Commons videos. These videos are licensed for you to use them to make your own video. Now, they're not licensed for you to copy them verbatim and just re-upload them. They're licensed for you to take one. For example, you can drag this video over here. It's an American flag. I've never even looked at these, so I'm not sure how this will come out. <laughs> and then you take one like the Golden Gate Bridge right here. So here's another video. And then you click here to add a new video. And then you can put City at Night right here. So now that is a unique video. Right there, that combines three clips of existing Creative Commons videos. That is a unique video. The YouTube editor is extremely powerful. If you have ever watched the Honey Badger video, and if you see this video is something you could easily make with the YouTube editor. It takes footage and then narrates over it. You can do that. All you have to do is go into the Creative Commons, find videos. You could search for videos even like Honey Badger, and you'll get these videos up of Honey Badgers. Now, there's not a lot here, but you could just do something like search for Badger, and you'll find there's a bunch of Badger videos up here. Tons of Badger videos. Now, lots of them obviously don't include real Badgers, and you know, this one says top five open bikini, so probably not badgers there. But you can see, you could just go through these videos, find the right videos, and then you can make your own unique video out of it. And what made the honey badger video is the narration. The narration was really funny. Now, in order to use the audio on here, what you really need to do is download the video yourself, put your audio on it, and re-upload it. Because what YouTube offers you here are audio tracks you can put in. The problem is a lot of these audio tracks will remove the ability for you to actually make money through ads on the video, and you want to have that. But you can use the Creative Commons to just drag and put the video together, and then when you're in your video manager, You'll see if I look through and go back to that one, complete Facebook ads, and I go back to that video I showed you, and I'll have to put tutorial on it because I have too many videos. And I go down right here. This is the one I just showed you. Now you see this option, download MP4. I made this video in the YouTube editor. Now all I have to do is download MP4, and I'll just do it to show you what it looks like. Download MP4. Now, it's downloading onto my computer right now. So I'm not going to download this whole thing right now because we don't want to do that. But all you have to do then is use any video editing program, whatever you've got on your computer, whether it's iMovie or whether it's I use Final Cut Pro on my Mac. I use Camtasia Pro is what I'm filming on here. I'm using Camtasia Studio on my Windows computer. You can even use something like Windows Live Movie Maker, which allows you to add the video, and then you record your audio. You can use a free program like Audacity to record your audio in a good quality, and so I'll show you how to find that. So Audacity. So no matter what, the idea is no matter what computer you're using, you have a way to do this. So you can make the video, save it, download it, Use whatever movie maker you already have on your computer. You can download Audacity. It's free. It's excellent for high recording of audio. I already have it on my computer. There's so many things to show you here, so let's keep it moving. Number four gets into what I've done recently to make my YouTube videos. What I showed you is what works for me to get started, what's the easiest to begin with, and then even the last part showed you something other people are using successfully at scale. Now, out of these six viral videos I've featured on the homepage of my channel, how many of these were done using the first three? Just this one. The other five 
are done using newer, more polished and professional methods that I will show you now. These get more difficult and often require better equipment. But if you can get the equipment, if you can do it, if you invest in it, you can also make a lot better videos. So the first two, these are video gaming videos. This is one of the easiest ways to make a viral video because there's so much traffic on video games. And you do that, I use an Elgato Game Capture HD in order to do that. So what I do is I bought the actual add-on and then it comes with this software. And so you can see the product here, Elgato Game Capture HD, and I'll search for it, Elgato Game Capture. And I'm not affiliated with them or anything. I show you this because this is what I'm using. So this is the device here. You can get it at Walmart or lots of other places. And I'll just go to their website here. This makes it really easy to capture HD game footage at 60 frames per second and make it look really good. When I lived with my parents a few years ago and was really good at Modern Warfare 2, man, I should have got one of these and made YouTube videos. You don't have to wait that long. I've got this. There's lots of alternatives. This one's the easiest. It works really good. And I used it to make both of these videos. First, I bought this and I bought an extra HDMI cable. Then what I do, I plugged it into my computer. There's no signal now because my Xbox is not on. I record the videos, but here's the real sweet thing in it. After installing this software that comes with it, then you can see all these videos in the editor and this is where it's really sweet. If you try and edit these videos in something else like Final Cut Pro, or you try and edit them, God forbid, in Windows Media Player, or even in Camtasia Studio, tons of rendering time, tons of pain in the ass, tons of time and effort. If you use the Elgato Game Capture like I've been doing, you record the raw footage of the video, and then you can real easily go into the editor. You can cut the beginning out. You can cut out some of the parts where you had to pause. Whatever you need to do, you can edit the title real quick and then you can even take a screenshot for the thumbnail and you can use the game capture also to record your live commentary, which I do now with another mic. You can adjust all the game audio. You can even stream live with it. It's very comprehensive. But then the real beauty is you can easily save it to an MP4 original quality and then it's really quick to render it from there and upload it to YouTube. You don't want to take two days rendering every video you have to do. And so the Elgato Game Capture is how I've done all of my viral video gaming videos. It's made it real easy to just capture the raw footage. And what I do, I just record when I'm playing and I throw most of the videos out. But if something really cool happens or if there's a new video game release out, then I go to work on it. So I'll go down here and I'll show you. For example, this is the first video I did this on, Wolfenstein The New Order. All I did, literally all I did is play the first 49 minutes of Wolfenstein. So you can see right here, I did that. And then the video's not even received that great. 82 likes, 23 dislikes on it. Lots of commentary. It was quite a raunchy video. I cussed a lot in it. I didn't play the game very well. And yet, 47,000 views because there weren't any other Wolfenstein videos up. Maybe a couple when I uploaded it. But there was a new game out. Everyone wanted to watch it. So that is how you get it easy viral videos. To put a video on YouTube that there's tons of people that want to watch and there's not that many other videos up about. You could call those high demand, low supply. New video gaming releases are one of them. I had no previous gaming traffic on my channel. Hardly any, maybe a few hundred people. And I put these up, I ran a few ads on them, and then they went viral from there. Thousands of free views. And even you can see, not even a very good video, especially on these two, a lot of people were really turned off. This one went over a bit a lot more positive. You can see 219 likes, 14 dislikes, a lot more positive received. So it's just like anything else. The more you keep doing, you'll keep getting better at it. So if you play video games, real easy to make some viral videos this way. 
But I'll show you an even more powerful thing really quick in the next step that can take this even further. Number five for making a viral video. This is something I've just stumbled upon and I'm still working on getting going myself, but this seems fantastically powerful, which is why I'm showing it to you. Now, notice these are video gaming videos, these two, and then the one I've showed you here. These have gotten a significant portion of views on my channel, and what they were, new video game releases, and these two are new expansion packs. So you'll notice they've got 40, 60,000 views on them. Well, let me show you something that applies across the board, whether you want to do video gaming videos or anything else. So those were for games that were already out, that were just released. I often got the video uploaded on release day. Well, here's a video game coming up. You can see I've already searched for it. And here's a specific mode in the new game people want to find out about. Black Ops 3 Zombies. So it's one part of a game coming out. Right now I'm filming this June 15th, to 2015. The game will not be released for about five months. What do you notice here? Black Ops 3 Zombies. There are videos fairly recent that have millions of views already. And in fact, if you go watch this video, it includes absolutely no footage from Black Ops 3 absolutely nothing it includes low quality footage from black ops 2 while black ops 3 is talked about now this guy has 6 million subscribers he's a huge video gaming guy online and he knows what he's doing and what does he do he puts up low quality footage from black ops 2 and talks about Black Ops 3, 1.2 million views. Now let's think about that for a minute. I'm impressed how well this strategy is working because it hits on a key thing on YouTube. There are a lot of people looking for Black Ops 3 Zombies videos. There are no Black Ops 3 Zombies videos with actual footage yet. What you see here. All of these videos are people talking about Black Ops 3 Zombies. And what you'll notice, a lot of them have a lot of views in there uploaded a week ago, even this one a day ago. And what you'll see, this trend shows you it's really easy to make a viral video by just talking about something people are excited about. Now, how do you find exactly what people are talking about. If you didn't know about Black Ops 3, you probably wouldn't be talking about this. But here's the thing. You have things that you do know about. You have things that you are aware of, you are excited about. New things like an Apple Watch, an Apple iPhone, whatever you are excited about coming up in the future, other people are probably excited about that too. So you can literally use a Google Hangout video, talk about something that's going to come out, and you can have a great shot at getting a viral video out of that, just because of the rule of supply and demand. If there are very few videos about a subject, like there are very few Black Ops 3 Zombies videos, because there are no actual videos of Black Ops 3 Zombies yet. So anyone can just put up a video and talk about Black Ops 3 Zombies. And yet, there's tons of people looking for more information on Black Ops 3 Zombies. So if you want to make a viral video, that's a real easy way to do it. This is something I'm just about to get started testing myself. And the, what you want to do is just pay attention to what you're already excited about and talking about. And then try and make a YouTube video about it. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'll make some Black Ops 3 Zombies videos. And I'll see what happens with my videos. Now, as you can see right there, there's a big first mover advantage. So if I go back to the search results, you can see big first mover advantage. So these videos out one month ago by different people have tons of views. And what you'll notice, this guy's video out two weeks ago, a lot less views. This one out three days ago 
is by the guy that also has this one out. But what you'll see is the videos that are newer, if you want to do well, you want to be able to have a little bit of new information or something. If you can be one of the very first people on YouTube to talk about some new thing people on YouTube are likely to be looking for, then you can make a huge viral video, very little effort, no high quality video footage needed. So there's a recipe on how to do it. By now, you've probably wondered, as I talk about the sixth way to make a viral video, you've probably wondered, okay, you're not actually making any of the videos the way you've told us so far. You're clearly not making this video that way. You're right. I'm using Camtasia Studio on my Windows computer to make this video. I'm using Camtasia Studio and it's by TechSmith and you can get a free trial of it. I'm using Camtasia Studio to record my screen. If I drag this over, you can see this is recording right now. This is on my other monitor. I'm using two monitors. This is recording right now. And so once I'm done, I hit stop and I go in and make slight edits to the video and then add it to the video and upload it. That's all I have to do. It's incredibly simple. That's what I use on cam on my Windows computer. I use Camtasia. Now I also have an iMac. I use Final Cut Pro on my iMac and I actually use Final Cut Pro X on my iMac. Now, here's an important thing though with the iMac. I don't actually do any screen capture with the iMac. I do all my screen capture on Windows and if I need to make longer videos or do various things to put them together, I render it on my Mac because my Mac is newer and a lot faster. So what you can see from this is that I've invested a lot of time, energy, and money into setting up a video making system that works really good for me. So once you've got experience and once you've put a lot of time into making your videos on YouTube, you'll more than likely be willing to invest money and time into doing a better job. And what you can see right here, this is kind of the grand finale where I show you this video has got 100,000 views in just a couple weeks. And this combines most of what I've shown you so far with a couple of new things that I'll show you in the last one in step seven. But this video actually combines, if you start at the beginning of the video, the video begins, this is Camtasia screen capture footage. And then all of that's put together in Final Cut Pro. I actually use two different computers and screen capture on one and then Final Cut Pro to render this whole video because I can render short videos on my Windows computer. If you'll notice, this video is four hours and 51 minutes. Viral videos are much more likely to be successful if they're longer, contrary to popular belief. Now, maybe if you just want raw number of views, but if you want to actually make a profit, be able to make videos full time, long videos are where it's at. Because the occasional person that watches the whole video is incredibly valuable to YouTube and to you. So you can make a quick vine that's 15 seconds that goes viral, but that's not going to have much lasting attention. A four hour video will get people seriously interested in who you are and what you're doing. The 1% that watch the whole video anyway. But this is the masterpiece of all of my equipment here. Camtasia Studio and then the rest combined in Final Cut Pro. And so all of that took a lot of effort. And then the kicker on top of all of that, Google AdWords for video. Heavy advertising right when the video came out using Google AdWords for video, AKA YouTube ads. If I go show you the analytics on this video, then you can see for yourself. So if I jump over to my creative studio and I hit analytics, it's easy to find this video. It's the most watched, 94,000 views. Now, here's what's amazing about this. You'll see 85,000 on YouTube ads. What you'll also see is how rapidly all the views are growing for free. So I took out YouTube ads, 
Look how fast these videos are growing for free, up already to over a thousand views per day for free. And you'll see YouTube search is the number one traffic source on that. But what's really amazing then, this video is constantly sending people to my website. It offers them a preview of this hacking course. The hacking course, which is 16 hours of video, it gives them a preview, a four hour preview of the course and it encourages them to buy it. So all of this search traffic out of everyone searching, about 1% or so of people are buying the course. So what you can see, these YouTube ads views on it have given me a much higher ranking and so it's continually climbing up into YouTube search. Thousands of free views on it already. YouTube search and suggested video. Hacking is a very popular category on YouTube and this video is pushing straight up into it with all of these views I got from YouTube ads pushing up the organic traffic. The organic traffic on this subject is gold. And if you want to get a YouTube video viral, you more than likely need an existing audience. So, I have 10,000 subscribers. That means almost 10,000, 9,006 or 700. That means I can put a video out and get traffic on it for free. If you don't have thousands of subscribers or millions, YouTube ads is a way to get existing traffic. YouTube ads has been the key to getting all of my videos viral. If you try and make a video without existing traffic, you'd be lucky to get a few thousand because most of the videos on YouTube don't have any existing traffic. And yet, the videos from people running YouTube ads like me that have a larger subscriber base, you effortlessly get those first few thousand views and that's where you then start getting all these viral views. All these views for free like I'm showing you here. On June 13th, a couple days ago, almost a thousand views for, over a thousand views for free. And that's where the easy way to go viral is because when you pour these 85,000 YouTube views on here with ads, it tells Google that this is a great video. Regardless of maybe the truth, that's what it tells Google. And so the video will rank high. Now, once it ranks high, then the truth will be discovered. If it's not a very good video, it will drop in the rankings after it gets a boost from ads. If it's a good video, it will soar to the top and do amazing things. So that's exactly what I've done to get 100 plus thousand views on this video in just a couple weeks here. It's one of the biggest successes I've had and it's carrying my channel and you can see the video counts not even properly updated on it because it's gotten several thousand more views since these stats have even updated. So that's the best way to do it. Now one last thing to show you that was integral to getting this video made and that's been integral to getting a couple of my other videos viral. Are you ready for lucky number seven? The grand finale to how I've made my viral YouTube videos. Once I show you this, this covers all of the viral videos I've shown you on my playlist, including the integral part to my newest video and to two of these videos. As you can see, these are obviously not made by me. So, the key, finale. What you'll notice, if you watch some of this hacking video, you'll notice, well, that's not you talking. You're right. It's not me talking. It's someone I hired on Upwork. And you'll notice this is a job posting I have up on Upwork right now. I'm offering to pay thousands of dollars to a freelancer who will make me a good MATLAB course. And here's the catch. They make it and give me copyright to it. That is my video. I pay them so they get a guaranteed result out of it. They take their experience, make me the course, and then I give them a percentage of sales of the course also. So for the freelancer who often is underpaid, looking for more income, looking for a better life, this is an awesome 
opportunity. And for me, it's an awesome opportunity. I'm established on YouTube. I know a lot of subjects people want, like free hacking course. And so the key is to use freelancing platforms to find people to make the exact kind of videos you need. It's a great way to scale up because I'm at capacity. I'm making as many videos as I can. But I can hire a lot more people that are good to make videos for me. You can see I've spent over 30000 on Upwork. It was formerly part of Odesk. And this hourly rate paid only accounts for hourly jobs. Most of the money I've spent in the last year is fixed projects, so it's not counted in there. So you'll see 228 people hired, eight active right now, but not just on Upwork, Fiverr.com. Well, you can see this girl did a great job. She made two videos for me that went viral. This video technically has the most views. What is the worst thing a guy can do to turn a girl off? And she talks about how she doesn't like guys farting. And that went viral for a while. It was getting lots of free views on it, and it still gets free views today. And there's another one, How Do You Tell a Girl You Love Her, still gets good free views today. I found her on Fiverr. When you pay someone on Fiverr, the standard terms dictate that you have copyright once they pay you. So you can literally find someone on Fiverr to make the videos you need. All I did, I did not give her a script. I gave her a question. How do you tell a girl you love her? She answered it. I did the same thing here. What's the worst thing a guy? And she honestly answered it. So if you set up videos in the way that people can honestly talk about them, you can really get some incredible results working from freelancers. And you just have to search and find freelancers. And if you don't do it right, I've got about 50 videos from Fiverr freelancers on my channel that you're not likely to ever watch. If you don't do it right, you won't get any views at all. Your existing audience will want a consistent voice from you. But still, hiring freelancers is an integral part of what I'm doing now. And you can use freelancer.com, Fiverr, or Upwork. All work really good for getting your freelancers. I've used Upwork the most. I've used Fiverr, as you can see. And freelancer.com owns the Warrior form. They are doing very good things on here, so that's why I share them also. That's what you can do. That's the masterpiece here that then I've showed you. In summary, I will go right now and wrap up the entire summary of this most viral video with you. I've given you a lot here, so let me summarize real quick. Two key things. The easiest way to get started with viral videos on YouTube, Google Hangouts on air. You go on your Google Plus profile, you go to Hangouts and you click Hangouts on Air. You click Create a Hangout on Air. It's that easy. You make an honest video talking about something you like, you're passionate about, and you have experience with. It's that simple to get started. Now, how do you do a masterpiece viral video online like I've shown you that not only gets views, but that also makes money? And so here's my newest viral video, four hours, 51 minutes, all of the integral parts to it. Number one, the traffic itself, YouTube ads, absolutely critical to pulling in all these free views. Eventually, the free views will swamp way more than the YouTube advertising on this video. And for now, I'm putting it up there in the top of videos. YouTube ads, critical. Camtasia. Screen capture, easy, simple screen capture used on a PC. Apple Final Cut Pro, this is how I actually got the whole video rendered on my iMac. You don't necessarily need these, I'm showing you what I did to make the video and review. And then Upwork.com for having freelancers to actually help make the footage on an in-demand topic. And then what I've used is Udemy. You can see right here on my website, I've got a coupon for the hacking course that's prominently featured in the video on YouTube. I offer a four-hour preview on YouTube, and then you can see on my website, the actual course offers 17 hours of video plus access to both of us instructors on here. 
And so that's my masterpiece formula for getting you started, whether you're just beginning, you want it to be simple, or whether you've got the full set of tools and resources to go through and take a shot at making a video like this that will go viral and be profitable. So thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for watching this video. You've spent so much time here watching this video with me, and that means a lot to me. If you liked watching this video, you can see the power of this in yourself. You can see the opportunity. What you can do, I have a YouTube course here on my website at jerrybanfield.com. It will walk you through exactly what to do to get your videos up on YouTube. You can join thousands of students in trying to do this alongside them. I will answer every single question you post in the course showing you exactly what to do and motivating you to get your videos up online. You can see I have tons of other courses up here on Udemy. I have a Facebook ads course. That's my most popular hacking course. It's the trending rising rapidly. And if you want to see how I actually make videos and teach full time online on Udemy, you can see that too straight on my website. So if you spent this much time with me, you're likely to really benefit from more. So jerrybanfield.com shows you exactly where you can get more. My Udemy courses are the very best experience with me. They're the highest quality, they're the most organized, and you can easily interact with other students doing the same things you are. And that interaction tends to be the most powerful. Now, there's tons of things you can get from me for free. Also, if you go to my blog, you'll notice I make a ridiculous amount of blog posts, all kinds of blog posts totally for free on my website. If you go to my YouTube channel, you can subscribe right here and keep getting more videos like this totally for free. I make lots of videos for you on my channel as you obviously know by now. And so you can get those things totally for free. And if you want to look for a video on a specific topic, like you want to see what I have to say about Twitter, all you have to do is use the search function on my channel. You can see all the videos I have about Twitter. You can do the same thing with things like YouTube. You can, okay, what videos do you have about YouTube? And you can search, you can find all these videos I've already got on my channel for free about YouTube. So you have spent so much time here that you can make a lot more out of learning with me either on my YouTube channel or here in my Udemy courses as well. Thank you very much for being here with me. I'm honored you're here and I appreciate every minute you've spent watching this video.